We're not sure what life was like inside a small group or herd of dinosaurs, but by observing modern herding animals, we can make some educated guesses. Herds are usually large, unstructured gatherings of animals living together, taking safety in numbers. However, mothers and young may organize subgroups within the herd. Other, socially dominant animals will often act as herd cops, protecting these nursing herds, driving away older male offspring so their rough play doesn't hurt the young ones, as well as watching out for predators. Sometimes adults will fight for rank or position within the group. Dominance fights such as these can sometimes turn ugly, with combatants being injured or even killed. To minimize this chance, animals will often posture, roar, or otherwise put on a show, all to intimidate and impress. Sometimes there are animals within the herd that others tend to imitate. These animals aren't deliberately taking the lead, and they're not always the dominant ones, but others in the herd look to them as examples. An animal taking this role is called a control animal, because if they move in a certain direction, or bolt upon hearing a sound, the herd as a whole will do the same. Play is the original form of learning, and young Triceratops have tested their speed and strength in jousts and horn-locking wrestling matches with one another. Mating rights may have also been won this way, with females assessing the fitness and strength of the males. One thing is certain, combat between two Triceratops would have been awe-inspiring. Thank <laughs> you.